think we're live. A um, little bit later than I planned on doing it, but it's uh, Ori in the Blind Forest. Uh, I've played through this game, I've completed this game before. Uh, welcome to watching this video. Uh, basically, I'm going to go for about an hour. I've got this for complete. I started again. Uh, basically to try and mop up some achievements I haven't got, uh, but with this one I'll start an entirely new game. Uh, basically just to get through the story, hopefully I'll make this a series. If it goes well, uh, well let's dig into it I guess. To say in the uh, title it's a bit of a sad story, especially right at the start. Hold on, just uh, playing this the first time and uh, it really is it's quite a dark story. The graphics make it look like it's designed for kids but it's the high uh, It's your basic sort of 2D platformer. Um, there are screw you bits in it where you have to do some sections all in one run and some of these sections are really long. There was one in particular I remember while to do I actually rage quit it and then went back to it at another point. Um, but yes, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed this game. Excellent game I'll start. This here is uh, I believe. Uh, one of the principal characters. Uh, Ori is the white uh, cat looking character we get to Ori in a moment as Ori here all you can do is it's just exposition, it's a moving video, really. Oh, look, there's Ori. Ori has been born. Naru, sorry. Not Ori. Ori and Naru. Yeah, the intros are basically, yeah. Uh, you can walk, you can jump, but you just do the path. There's nothing to do, really, as such. See, we're already, we can jump, we can go a little left, so there's nothing you can do, <laughs> as I keep saying. So we follow this. It's great because it's, uh, at the minute, oh, it's so sweet, everything's happy. Oh, yeah. Look at all the, all the trees. Oh, come on. It's uh, such a happy thing. You know, such a happy game. What could ever possibly go wrong? Game, you walk here, you get to the end, you get a thousand points. Brilliant. <clears throat> if only there was some way across. Find the many trees. It is though, it, it's quite sweet. Um, you see this intro and prologue rather, and it's, it's quite a sweet thing. You see together uh, through the seasons as they change. To wriggle the, the bridge to get themselves to the, uh, the fruit tree, as it were. But as we all know in TV shows, movies, anime, whatever, when something starts off this nice, it never lasts. So we walk back. Sure, how much time has passed in between Ori being found by the great tree there? You've seen it in many uh, Eastern games, shall we say. I actually believe it is called the Great Deco. If the game's Japanese, it's fake action based, it's the tree is called. The minute we're not here, just watching, seeing what happens. Oh, now 
we're moving again. Oh, Nari looks sad. The last fruit. Yeah, times have changed. Things have gotten worse. eventually get to play a video game, I promise. I promise you it was a sad one there. Uh, it is quite a sad one to be honest. It's just uh, uh, a sad one. Just sort of distracting the stories. I say it's a dark one. It's 
This is not a game for children. It really is. And with that, and the uh, protagonist of the game is dead in about five minutes. Resonate, they need to be good. And uh, since we're in the game proper now. So, yeah, oh, we can jump, but only once. And the uh, green bits there are your, are your life. You do throughout the course of the game, you pick up another sphere, it uh, basically allows you to save your game. Um, can I jump on? We can't actually double jump or anything yet, so. Can't even sprint yet because I've not been told how to. See that blue thing there is a. A uh, gate shard, I believe, allows you to get past gates. We can't attack yet, so. Just have to. Oh, that was my fault. Get over here, yeah, go over there. No, we can't. We're going down. Oh, wait, was that a secret thing there? Yeah, it was. Spirit light containers. Um, <clears throat> the yellow circle that's filling up there. Get you towards your ability points, as you'd imagine at the start of the game. One point is enough for pretty much everything. Uh, later on it becomes two, and then I think there's a couple of three ones. I'm not sure. Uh, so we can't even really attack. You know, attack As such, we're just jumping. Ah, there we go. The energy cell. Uh, we can. We, that's the game saves. Boosh, the game saved, and that's where you you press the B button. Got one of those that allows you to. Oh, got one of these. We jump. I swear I have done this game before. Um, moving on a little bit. Oh, can we go under there? Just, yeah, we can. This, this is one of those games where there's plenty of collectibles to. That one was lost. Can't save the game right here. Plenty of collectibles to find, most of them are out of the way. Uh, oh, we're going again. Pick that up. There you go, sorry. Distracted. Hopefully we can attack now. This thing's kind of like the, uh, I'm sure it's not like the Oh, got a, I know it's a frog, I think, but when I was playing it the first time, it's like, it reminded me of, uh, what the key word jumps about, so, combined with, uh, a like of hay on, all that used to wish I was a monkey man, whenever that happened, came across it. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, uh, I imagine Legend of Zelda fans may be for this, don't know the name of the fairy thing. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's kind of like that. Fairy thing helps you out with things, can guide you through things at times, and that's where I need to get. So we're going upwards right now. First, since we've got the energy shield, we'll uh, save the game here, and I can get my first ability point. I think I see we've got shoot three flames before recharging, which is a good one. The pickups that float is a good thing, actually. I think we'll go for that one. Uh, reusing soul links and shortens the cooldown timer. Basically means you can go back to a previous save point if you haven't already made a new one and just save over that one. But we'll go for the pickups. Makes it much easier when you're trying to run through the game and take down enemies who can attack these now. You give ability points, they give health. 
And uh, there you go. At any point, we can see if we can check the map, as the game said. Uh, there is. Oh, I got past here. Yeah, it's um, your typical thing. The world's gone dark. There's all these dark creatures now, and it's, uh, only you can save mankind. From uh, games. Kill. Ow. Go for killing everything. Oh, there's the first death. <coughs> there's, there's actually, um... There is an achievement for going through the entire game without dying once, and anyone that legitimately has that achievement uh, cheated somehow, because, honest to God, this is a, a game I've, uh, I'd struggle with to try and do that. But, uh, there's also a ga uh, an achievement for doing three hours as well, under three hours. That one is just, I mean, I suppose if you speed run enough, you can get used to it. Apologies. Have you heard that one? Hey, these are save points. You automatically save your game. Um, they are quite rare. There's one, I think one in each area. It basically replenishes, saves your game, replenishes your entire light shards. Uh, abilities. Very ability driven game. It's uh, one of those uh, abductions. Every single ability in the game before you can come back to even some things in the starting area you can't uh, do straight off. Can't get that yet. So that really bugged me. I mean, I will admit that probably added quite a bit of time onto my. Uh, run it every time I get it to the run back to the starting area and try and say what try and see if I could get further if I could just find a way to get some of the collectibles I'd been missing as I said it took right the way until we uh, oh, yay we had a keystone uh, only the first door which is the one that we're coming up to shortly is one that will allow you to <coughs> excuse me, one that will allow you to go through with only two. I think all the others require four to get through. There's the, oh yeah, I've got an ability. Jump back. <laughs> uh, we'll go for I can get this one actually. Pickups will show on the map, but we'll talk to them. Trying to defeat enemies, it's helpful to be able to do it without dying. Let's see the keystone. Thankfully, we've already got them. So we can just... Do we need another? Thought I made a fool of myself there, but no, it is too. Uh, hey, Warlord. Thanks for joining me. I know you're out having a busy day. Uh, Spirit Caverns is one place to go. Uh, right now, we're heading towards. Oh, I deserve that. Heading towards uh, the Great Spirit. These uh, the shards as well, they help build up here. You can't uh, get through here yet, you need to have the ability to charge up your attacks. Let's go up. Up there. of each of the cells to collect throughout the game. Uh, basically, as you can see, they improve your life, they improve your magic ability. Right. Me a map. Yeah, so I have to get up. I can't go up directly, so we'll go uh, Spirit Gates. So we'll go down. Uh, you'll notice uh, some of the enemies called red, close to them. basically the enemies called red. But you're in range of being able to attack it, which is quite handy. Because you, your attack can go through anything. As long as it says 
your enemy is the attack of him. Handy thing to have. Go down here and explore. It's, um, it's basically an exploratory platforming RPG type thing. You've got to find collectibles, but you need to get abilities to get the collectibles. It's a whole thing. Map fragments are a thing as well. Uh, you get a gimme here. Oh, is that stone? No, sorry. So you get a gimme. Basically, so you do that, but we haven't got one. Um, map fragments will highlight the entire area of, of the game that you're in. Uh, I think it's a collect away or later on. Uh, collectibles are so very handy to have. Ow. Game save. Yeah, I'm heading in the right direction now, I remember this. It's amazing how stuff comes back. Yeah. yeah, so you can sort of get enemies through walls or anything. I did a little trick to have later on in the game. Uh, Attack get more powerful, you can charge them up. It's just quite good. Let's save it here. So I can spend my ability point. Let's see, we've got increases the strength of the spirit flame, which is a good one to have. Uh, the pickup show on the map, that's the one, yeah, as I said, it uh, makes them all show up. We'll go for the so, See what we're working with. That there, by the way, you can just at the top of your screen. That is one of the things that you have to do. Get the final ability for. As far as I'm aware, I couldn't find a way, and I, every ability, I would uh, come back to this bit. First ability now. Wall jump. Right. Can't sprint yet, so I don't know why I'm holding the sprint button. But basically now we can climb the walls. A another enemy. Our way back up. As I said, you can't uh, get up there yet, so can't resave the game either. Those enemies can get quite annoying later on in the game. I'm not going to lie; they, can, uh, they just drop down on you. They don't really have an attack. That is their attack. Sometimes they can go places you've not spotted them in. Especially if you're trying to get through somewhere quick. There's a couple areas later on where you've got a few enemies that are all coming at you and you just want to get out of them. And they fall on you and you really hack them. Oh, there we go. Now we can make our way to the tree. Grab that. You don't need to smash all them when you come across them, it's just a, a force of habit thing. If I see something, I'll... This one you play. The most basic puzzle in the game, really. Timed. Move when they... Oh, that was close. Very close. Hey, look, we got... No. That was stupid of me, now I've got to go all the way back. Hooray! You'll find that I'm <laughs> that might happen to you quite a bit. It certainly had, it happened to me first.
first time through, you get far into the game and oops. Because you don't realise, um or remember. No auto save really in the game apart from at very key moments. Or as I remember so as you go through the game you sort of get into a bit and you go, Oh yeah yeah and then you die and then you end up sometimes I'd end up about half an hour back. It can be really frustrating at times, so remember, save off. I know it's sort of uh, video games 101, but when you get into a game like this, you just sort of... You forget to save, really, because it immerses you. It's both a blessing and a curse of this game. You really enjoy it, but then you die and it pulls you out of the immersion. Oh no, I Can I save here? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. I believe I forgot that first time. It's quite good. Okay. Just like this. Um, oh, really? There we go. Cut there in the end. And we've saved our game. Quite stupid this time. Again. <clears throat> I'm not going to try and risk this one. As I still I like to, uh, start all over again. Oh, yeah, back. Hey, we've got the key. This time. Yeah, sometimes as well. You saw it there earlier. Sometimes you'll the death thing, she'll just land on certain things and that's it, just gone. There's no way to avoid it. Uh, that will happen occasionally. You just need to sort of grin and bear it. Go wrong. But it shouldn't distract from the fact that this is truly a one. Going the right way. Uh, yes, sir. There's a lot of, uh, I will say, there's a lot of map watching as well. Looking at your map, seeing where you're going. Oh, we've got past it. <coughs> there we are. Should you clear up the map for me? It tells you where your stone fragments are, where your doors, things that you can break to get through. As you can see, check out the legend there, we've got four keystones to grab. Uh, we've got a spirit gate up top, and an energy gate there to get as well. Before we can get to the great tree, the spirit tree. And there in the middle there's a stompable floor, but you need, as I say, you need the stomp power for There's a see the purple there is the water at the moment it's poisoned. Uh, at some point in the game, uh, a fair bit later on I think, the waters around the game will become unpoisoned and you can, oh, and you can swim. Uh, and then not too long after that, you have to, it's quite funny. You have to go through an entire underwater area of the game having to look out for bubbles and yeah, we can. yeah yeah sorry you have to go through an entire area of the game looking out for underwater bubbles and air sources to get through an underwater area only to uh, end up with the power that means you can breathe indefinitely underwater
And we're up. I know there's something over there, so I'm just trying to... There we are. You need four spirit orbs to get through that one. Energy gains, that's not energy cells. I will get back to the nomenclature of the game. It's been a while. Yeah, I've uh, not got the requisite, so... Health back. Just, uh, save the game yet. Can't, apparently. Oh, I need the uh, energy, sorry. Ultimate off. Let's go down. Watch. Up, 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 and jump. And save game. <coughs> it's one of these things where at the start of the game it's frustrating. As you get through the game, it's uh, you come back to the area again. It's basically it's just a quicker way to get to the earlier part of the game, and it's difficult to get down. And you see, we've nailed it. Four keys. Yeah, this is one of those um, key moments where your game will be saved after this. Excuse me. Yeah, it's, uh, again with the uh, extra long text boxes. <coughs> but they are. Essentially, Ori is a being of light. Naru wanted something in her life to give her life meaning. The spirit tree obliged the Ori. Then, as usual, nothing that's good ever lasts. The future antagonist. The reason things go wrong. Essentially, it's a bird looking for a home. As usual, things are going quite the best. Break the scheme. Makes things worse. <coughs> Evil bird. You passed the tutorial, kid. Yeah, essentially, you have to go. There's a part of the world you've got to go on the ground. There's a part of the world you've got to go up to the sky. Basically, the heavens and the earth to find three, I think it is, elemental stones, the waters as well. Oh, the Ginto tree. I despised that. That was the one I was on about earlier that, um,. Maybe rage quit the game and leave for a while. But, uh, yeah, you might get to watch me do that again. Yeah, then you go into the ruins to get that one. And into a volcano. As I say, there's three stones that allow you to get into the mountain itself. <sighs> Climactic end. Ah, uh, why is it always spot? Yes, it's a, it's a pretty unique type of map system. 
So there you zoom out a little bit and you don't get a sort of guided path, it just those are the areas really and as you upgrade you can go to more. Hey look I've got almost all of Sunken Glade done already. Thornfelt Swamp is where we're going so we tap on the right trigger once and that's all you can see because that's uh, all that's there so far but that's where we're going. Uh, we are currently here. We're heading to the right of the tree and we're going to head up to there. Find the Ginsu tree. Oh, like, swear to God, if I had an axe in this game, I'd chop it down. Hey, Zillion. The ground is unstable. Yeah, we can do our little. Uh, when we get an attack, you can stand through that. Oh. There we go. There's an attack where you can stomp and it'll open up more. That's essentially what it's for. Uh, there is, I believe, an achievement as well for stomping on enemies. But, uh, can't get that for that. Oh, there we go. We don't have to stomp. Ow. And die. Uh, that was comical. Ground is unstable, we know. Hey, monkey man, do something. Oh. This time, we will hold on to the <laughs> sides. There we are. There we go. Get my abilities back. Can't burst through that yet. Haven't got the, uh, Enough to do it. Get my soul link back up. Ah. Yeah, there's a lot of rudimentary puzzles in this as well. It's uh, nothing too difficult, but there's a couple that make you go essentially round about the houses just to accomplish one thing. Go halfway across the, an area to come all the way back. Quite fun though if you've got other enemies nearby. Can I cheat? Ah, oh, I need a double jump to cheat my way through that. But... Ow. Ow. There we are. Save game and use ability points. Don't need that just yet, but we'll increase the strength of the spirit flame. His enemies, uh, you'll find it's as you go through areas, enemies can get to it. I can't do anything there, so it's having to find where we can go. It's one of those where you kind of just look, can I get through here, can I get through there, sort of thing. As far as I can see, I'm trying to remember my game. Yeah, I'm gonna have to backtrack a little bit. Oh look, an enemy is respawning. You do get some of those later on that are truly massive. And it's only because you've uh, Prove the power of your attack that you can kill them really. Oh, head back down, make sure not to fall in the death hole. Again, we can't breathe through there, so. Oh, look. Turns out I am an idiot, and we'll get the second ability. Yes, so you can focus your light, you can hold down the uh, attack button, which allows you to. I mean, it's you only get the one to charge, but it's handy for getting through walls, as I say. So. That's the uh, 
charge with. Explosion. Again, they get more powerful too. As you know, the game. Quite handy. Hey, look at that. Need a charge flame to do it with. So, destroy you. Really save this one. It's worth it to get to that, I guess. Hey, look, go down. Need the uh, level all to get through, so we can't do that. So we head back up. I hope that we've got a respawn in there. Uh, Shard. Hey, we've got one there. I think. There we go. And uh, true RPG fashion, I'm gonna head down. Let's see what we've got there. Back to the start. Oh, there's one path over. Excellent. We can head back. Carry on with this story. Yep. Leave no point behind. See, that's one of the bigger ones. Yeah, as I said, they get even bigger than that. Anyway. Gonna have to leave some points behind there. No worries, Zillion, it can happen. Um, especially if, if you don't have. Uh, your connection's not massive, but no worries, feel free to. It'll be up on YouTube, the YouTube channel is uh, in the info bar. As soon as I'm done here, I'll upload it straight to YouTube, in parts and in one big video. So you can watch it anytime. Yeah, we can't get up there. Welcome to the Spider Caves. Oh, dear. There is, I mean, if you go, you can go down there, but you need to get the uh, thing on top. Oh, oh, this is where Sean fails to master rudimentary parts of video games. Oh. Again, we can't use the energy door because we've uh, not got what it takes just yet. I'm up the horrific that is a bulging mass of spider eggs. Hey, uh. And, uh, I'm gonna leave that alone for now, cause I'll break through the door. There is a reason for this, I swear. It's a life orb. Oh, excuse me. Extra life with which to kill ourselves. Well, that'd be fun. Ow. And we're over. Of course, can't do the, uh, <laughs> the thing because we need to have the energy for it. So we're gonna find some energy here. Yes, we do. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. There we go. Everyone's dead. I killed them all. Let's see. Life efficiency. Ja. 
要出来。I think we'll do the. No, we won't do the rekindle. We'll do the life pickups. If I remember how I played this game, we're gonna need the life pickups. Oh. Yeah, um, I think I said it before, but just again, there is a, an ability you can get like on where you use enemies' projectiles against them. It's quite good. Use the enemies themselves as waves. You know, uh, oh, let's save. Let's save right here. Doesn't give us back any life just yet, but there is a, again another thing you can pick up. So I just do that. And there is a reason for coming here. And it's one of these, an energy cell. Now we've got two, so now I'm not just wandering around aimlessly. Looking for the blue things to attack. Oh, okay, that's the new stuff. There's the red spider. Why does it always have to be spiders? It's an quick save. Yeah, I'll be honest, it's just an excuse to destroy that. Because uh, I enjoyed playing it first time through, and uh, switch for that. I enjoyed playing it first time through. I just felt like playing it. a nice relaxing game. I can pretty much take my time with and just enjoy. Oh, fair enough, JMT. Yeah, it's uh, if you've got to the the Ginso tree, uh, you, can, you can vouch for just how annoying that is. It's just having to do the entire thing in one run through. Honest to God, I've never been that annoyed at a game before in my life. And I played the original TMNT. That likes to be sure of the bounce before I do. Might be There we are. Yes, we have a new enemy for the first time. His projectiles hit the floor and then burst. Isn't that fun? Huh. Yeah, it, as I say, it took me a good long while to get through that, but eventually, we persevered. Just wait till you've uh, not trying to make any spoilers, but wait till you get to the next uh, the next one of those. You have to do in one run. It's uh, <laughs> twice as fun, shall we say? Twice as enjoyable. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, me. Oh, I need him to do that. Oh, I have to go all the way back. Like I said earlier, that will happen a fair bit with me. You get absorbed into the game and then I just think you know you've got to go every few minutes to stop. Idiot. Hey, life. Oh, 
on, quickly. There we are. No one keeps me down for long. And that's what that does if you do it all in one place. Oh, there's there is an achievement, I think, for uh, bouncing five times without landing. I think, I may have it, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that one, but I think that's one. Oh yeah, another enemy. The frog. Didn't like the frog, or his uh, friend of mine who was watching it called it uh, the onion. Watch me play it first time. I mean, uh, they he called it the onion bag. There's our map fragment I was trying to get. I got distracted and went the wrong way. Save point, I don't need to use any of my stuff I don't have. And we get them all back anyway. Nothing over here. So we're not oh, I've just realised how idiotic I have to play. Yeah, you. Should probably have done this the other way, actually. To further prove how much of an idiot I am. Just can't get through, and I'm going to die. I swear to God, I've played this game before. <laughs> to the tension. 
he's only got one hit bit of health left. Can he do it? Sorry, that just sounds a bit wrong to me. Almost got an ability. Look at that, stop. Uh, okay. Or don't, whatever. points. Charge flame burn, I suppose this point will be kindled, so I can get the regroup so I can restore some health. Never save. Oh god, these things. They're shooty pieces. Did not enjoy these at all. Let's get that back. Should have saved the game before I did that. Ah, oh, laser puzzles, don't you just love them? And immediately jump in. It's okay, I can watch this another 10 or so times, I don't mind at all. Nope, not quick enough. Uh, don't you 
just love watching the same bit of footage over and over. Yeah, it's really cool. There's an achievement for getting um, one of those rhino thingies, they're called stompers, I believe. There's an achievement for getting one killed by one of those. Well, uh, actually, I think the thing that drops is called the stomper, I'm not mistaken. But yeah, there is an achievement for that, so. I'll not wait for that. Instead, just go for the Spoiler, actually one of my favourite characters in the game was Goomo. He's not such a bad guy once you get to know him. Oh, that was close. We very nearly died. Oh, there's a thing down there I wanted to get to. Oh, I've got to do all this again. Ah, remember what I told you earlier on? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Gonna avoid him this time. Don't need to. I just wanna get down to Google right after him. Gonna leave that alone so I've got something to do. Him. Oh, and down. 
Oh, stay, 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 stay. Yes, nail it. Onion frog. Yeah, actually, enemies start to get a bit stronger now. Oh. Telltale sign to see where he's coming from. Attack him. Sadly, no rule of three in this one, just to help him out. Doesn't go down nearly. There we are, we got him now. Bye, Joe, I got him. Yeah, as I said earlier, um, Gumo is actually my favourite character in the entire game. Quite a fun person. He means well. Oh, onion from there. And he's not anymore. to go before we get there. As we have, hey look, that doesn't look like you can get anything. Okay. Certainly not anything. Jump. And if I was able to double jump or slingshot enemies, I'd totally do that. Leru. Oh, this is a good one to have. This is a good ability to have. The double jump. Oh, yes. Now we can get some. Oh, look at the ability man on my eye. Save here and spend it. Now we get a life cell every time we save. Hey, Guma. Yeah, it's, uh, you can sort of tell when you're about to get a new ability because, uh, stuff that's clearly obvious you couldn't get back from. So you have to... Yeah, you know, oh, okay, something's coming up. I'm use this for, like, the double jump thing here. So now we can jump twice. 
Yeah, I get up to it. If we're not an idiot like that. Platforms that uh, are very precarious and stable in this game. Really not a fan of those, it has to be said. One thing I can say I dislike. There's a few times. It happens. And jump. Hey, look, another land. Get over there just yet, I don't think. Oh, we can. I was going to say we can't get over there, but we can go to the bit below it. Ah, oh, what an idiot I am. Still, oh, wait, I've got still. Forgot about that. That will uh, tell us what we need. So we're going to need four uh, keystones. Out of four energy. So that was the good thing. Oh. And across. Ow! Oh, all about time and you jumps, I guess. Oh dear. Can be done though, I have done that, I'm sure I have. There we go. Yeah. Oh, and away this way. There we go, that's how you do it. Not the idiotic way I did it. Sometimes I find it easier to just uh, take a fall, really. Take a penalty to get life points on them. They're trying to. Sure absorbs all things in the fire. Job got an ability point, so there we are. Half the cost of the charge flame is a good one.
Okay. Leave that there. And uh we'll find our way across, shall we? You can't do that because we have no energy. And I need four of them anyway. I'd like we come back to this puzzle. Disregard what I said earlier about this being a lazy area. Under the water. Oh, that was close. Jump on the thing. There we are. Yep, it's a jumping platform puzzle. Okay, you don't mind watching the same thing multiple times, do you? Oh, that was like uh, what I said earlier about the precarious uh, areas. Oh, on your back. And this time he's dead. Hey, look, we got this. Almost as if they want us to save. And drop and uh, jump. There we are. Ah, do you know what? If I had something, I could jump up there and destroy that. Maybe on the way back, eh? Because now we have to go over here. And up, up. Hey! Gonna take it quick. Save that there. Actually, I'm a fool to myself. Don't know why I saved that there because I'm gonna go there, get this, and then should have uh, saved after. No, no. Ah, something. I've got one and a half things. Oh. And now we don't have to go back. And up we go. Oh, and Guma's up at the top. And isn't this just a fun thing that happens now? We have to climb whilst avoiding dodging rocks. Uh, oh, okay. Any single one of those that hit you can uh, damage you, so. So I played Donkey Kong. They hit you, they damage you. Oh, fortunately. 
us. Can we save here? We can save here. You owe us. If only that were the case. Hey, totally secret area. Not. Hello, Gumo. Thank you. Gumo's just given us something nice. Water vein, so now we can get to the end. Ginsu tree. because I died. In, uh, did I die? I think. I just uh, decided to nope. Anyway, yeah, this isn't an area you can go into just yet. As I say, you need the blue water. So what we're going to do now, double jump our way out, find another blue crystal so I can save my game, and uh, we'll call it there, I think. Adventures can happen between, oh my God, between now and finding his crystal. Suicide bomber, darling. Oh, there um hopefully i'll do some more or in the blind forest maybe next time we discover what's in the ginsu tree that made sean want to try and kill everything around him uh, maybe we'll get further than that but until next time see you guys